Welcome back. And now it's time to take this conversation forward with the chairman and CEO of Leisure, Pascal Gantha, joins us on CC. Hi, Pascal. Welcome to CC. You make some of the most sophisticated wallets that are out there. And we have already done explainers on the program, educating people what wallets are, how to work. But you know, in an India context right now, where people are just getting on the crypto bandwagon, a lot of investment is happening through exchanges. So could you answer this key question for our viewers here in India on when do you make the switch from taking out your uh, cash or taking out all your investments from exchanges and actually get a wallet of your own? Sure. You know, all of these things, it's, uh, you know, it's really a personal decision and it's based on the, uh, your education and the research you've done for this. So, you know, the first message I'll give to sort of anyone who is entering into crypto is to document themselves. I mean, this is serious, this is money. If you're an investor, you will invest. You know, if you do it for other reasons, uh, in the end, it is still value. I mean, you know, uh, what Bitcoin is, what crypto cryptocurrencies are, you know, there are peer-to-peer -peer networks to exchange value, so it's value. Um, yeah. And so do, 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 do your own research. Um, that's mm. my first, uh, first message. Mm. And then know what's good for you. You know, I think if you're, if you're a trader, you know, sometimes you, you, one could argue that, you know, the only thing that you want to do is keep your money on the exchange and sort of mm. trade all day long. Uh, mm. And that might uh, very well be true. But at some point, if you want, if you're in cryptocurrency because you feel that cryptocurrency is the future of value and the future of money, then mm. if you don't own your cryptocurrency, then you miss, you're missing a fundamental piece of what cryptocurrency is. I if you see. think that cryptocurrency mm. is just like buying uh, an Apple stock, Hmm. then you will never need a, a ledger wallet in a way like you know but but i think you're missing the point of what cryptocurrencies are and cryptocurrencies again it's about peer-to-peer -peer. it's about being for me being able to send bitcoin to you hmm. uh, without having a bank in the middle without having an exchange in the middle so hmm. when you own your crypto and when your crypto is on your hardware wallet it's on your ledger then you're truly experiencing experiencing what crypto is and only then you can truly understand why it's so great I love that analogy about Apple stocks there as well. But I want to understand from you uh, the question about how secure these wallets are. We've seen what happened in the past in the data leaks of 2020 as well. What has the industry learned from that? Uh, you know, the data leak was uh, a year and a half ago now, like close to two years. And we've discussed this extensively. Uh, we It's documented on our website. We've done... A numerous video shows with our chief information security officer, mm. uh, Matt Johnson, Ask Me Anything. We've done long forms on this and we've explained what happened, what we did, you know, what we're doing now. Uh, so I'm not going to go back on this because I think it's, mm. uh, it's all news. And again, you know, for people that are interested in this and understanding what happened then mm. and what mm. we did then, everything is documented online. What I can tell you though, and the most important thing to, to remember for everyone is that Alongside with the rise of crypto, there is also the rise of uh, cybercrime. And cybercrime, mm. you know, it's not a question of if, it's more a question of when. Uh, mm. And what Ledger was doing, has been doing, has been doing even more since uh, these attacks is to sort of raise the bar of security and cybersecurity mm. uh, inside Ledger to make our products, you know, all the way more secure and resilience for, for future usage. But mm -hmm. when it comes to cybercrime in general and cybersecurity in general, again, I would say that users and consumers, they have to think about it. They have to educate themselves because there are, there are many ways of trying to scam users. And with, mm -hmm. with, the, with the value, with more value going every day on blockchain, all right over there some good advice coming in on the rise of cybercrime as well and how to actually take care of that uh, thanks pascal and that's all we could pack in this week's edition of coffee and crypto see you next time bye bye